Well, you can expect three things. More public park space, space including a beach area. You can expect two pathways for bicyclists and pedestrians that will connect east side residents to the riverfront. And you can expect Jefferson Avenue to be a little more bike and pedestrian friendly. We're really fixing the water edge, we're fixing the Jefferson Crossing, and then we're making additional connection points to go north and south so that that access will be improved. Changes coming to an area once slated for apartments and condos will now be park space and pedestrian pathways. And a blighted, formerly industrial area will now contribute to a vibrant waterfront scene. The Detroit Riverfront Conservancy debuted plans to add nearly eight acres of additional public park space to the East Riverfront. For cyclists and pedestrians, they will soon be able to travel along the river from Joe Louis Arena to the Belle Isle Bridge. Right now, the DeQuinder Cut offers folks a safe pathway from the Eastern Market area to the river. Two new greenways running parallel to the DeQuinder Cut will help attract more visitors to and from the riverfront. And with the announcement of a bike and pedestrian pathway on the future Gordie Howe International Bridge, you can expect lots of folks wanting to visit this area. The riverfront belongs to everyone, and the riverfront should be that accessible place where everyone feels welcome all the time. And the plans are expected to start sometime this year. We're live in Detroit. Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit.